All right, good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this is the Western Association of College Admissions Counseling Virtual College Fair. We are so glad to have you. Um, and for this session, you're gonna get a nice tour of different institutions throughout the state of Oregon. So hope you're very excited about that. Just a few housekeeping items as we get started this evening. Um, the Q&A function is gonna be the best way for you to communicate with our college representatives. Please feel free to ask questions throughout any of the presentations. One piece of advice I would give is to just go ahead and um, let the specific institution know who you're wanting to hear from. So for example, if you're wanting to hear from Oregon State University Cascades, just let them know this question is for Oregon State University Cascades. Um, that way we're making sure that you get the best information possible for the question that you're asking. Um, during this presentation, your camera and microphone are off. And so using that Q&A function is gonna be um, kind of the best way to get things answered. We have additional sessions that will be happening later on in March as well as April um, through um, WACAC um, so that you can get more information from other colleges and universities. And so please feel free to sign up for those um, later on because we would love to have you continue to join us. And then finally, within about a week, we will have recordings available of all of our sessions this evening. So without further ado, we are now going to start hearing from our college partners and we are going to start with Western Oregon University. Awesome. Hi, everyone. Um, let me share my screen with you. There we go. I hope everyone can see my presentation. Um, my name is Itzel Venegas Trujillo. Um, I'm an admissions counselor here at Western Oregon University. So Western Oregon University, if you haven't been there, um, it's located in a small town called Monmouth, Oregon, in the heart of the Willamette Valley. So it's about 20 minutes away from Salem, our state's capital, and um, 75 minutes away from Portland, which is our state's cap cultural, our state's cultural hub. Uh, we're a public mid-sized university. We have around 5,000 students with graduate students included, uh, making our average class size around 19 to 22, and our student to faculty ratio about 15 to 1. Our admissions requirements are pretty simple. We're looking for first year students to have a minimum of a 3.0 GPA um, and have completed or will complete four years of English, three years of math, including algebra two, uh, three years of science, three years of social science and two years of the same second language with the C minus or better. Take note that past grades or credit, no credit um, grades are due to COVID-19 will be accepted for students to meet our requirements. Um, if you're thinking of transferring over after going to community college, we're looking for our transfer students to have at least a 2.25 cumulative GPA, college GPA, with 36 transferable quarter credits or 24 transferable semester credits. From those classes, we need a C minus or better in a college level writing class and a college level math class. In order to process your application, we only need you to submit our Woo online application. Right now, the application uh, fee is no longer needed for both freshmen and transfer students. Um, so it is free to apply right now for a limited time. With that being said, we are accepting self-reported GPA. So we don't we no longer need the transcript at this time for admissions purposes. Um, we're also on rolling admissions, meaning we do not have a deadline to apply. However, our priority soft deadline is February 1st and we do ask that you submit it before then for scholarship purposes. Please note that if you do not meet our minimum requirements, that's okay. Um, it may just be that we require extra documents um, to complete your admissions application. So one of the main questions we receive from students is, can I afford to go to Western Oregon? And our simple answer is yes, you can afford it. More than 78% of our students do receive some form of financial aid. Along with that, we also offer a reduced out-of-state tuition rate, which what we call Western Undergraduate Exchange Program. For those of you who do not know, the West, uh, Western Oregon University is part of the Western Undergraduate Exchange Program, um, what we call the WUI. Uh, this program allows you allows us to automatically give all those students from these Western states a discount off of their tuition rate. Um, so for tuition, uh, tuition and fees for students who reside in the WUI states that you see on in on your screen, um, it's uh, based on basically it's going to be about fourteen thousand dollars, and it's based on your residency status and not anything else. So it means any and all majors are part um, do qualify under the WUI scholarship. More good news, or the WUI tuition rate. More good news, um, WUI, all us here, we allow students to stack on even more scholarships on top of that. So it could be, you know, merit-based scholarships, diversity-based scholarships, need-based scholarships, uh, athletic-based scholarships, anything and everything. So yeah, you can uh, stack on everything to make that even more affordable. Please take note that all California students will receive the WUI uh, rate automatically. 
Um, now on to what to study at WU. Here at Western Oregon University, we offer, we offer several bachelor's degree. We have the Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Music, and a Bachelor of Fine Arts with over 50 majors and minors to choose from within our College of Education, College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, and pre-professional programs. Students are able to find their passions to achieve academic success. Notable programs include business, criminal justice, psychology, teaching education, computer science, exercise science, um, biology, pre-nursing, as well as American Sign Language and English interpreting. Please note that here at WU, we do not have any impacted majors. Another big topic is housing here at Western Oregon. We have several options of types of housing, which include double, single, suite style, and live, learn communities. For first year students, we do have one year live-in requirement. However, um, Western Oregon does provide up to four residence hall, primarily designed for first year living um, experience with residential uh, assistance are equipped to students for their first year here at Western Oregon. For transfer students, um, or any upperclassmen, we do offer uh, upper division residence hall, um, which offers residents the opportunity to experience living on their own while still benefiting from such amenities such as private bedrooms, shared bathrooms, tech support, meal plans of desire, laundry, uh, utilities, and Wi-Fi. Along with that, we do offer a lot of opportunities to stay active, stay involved, and receive a lot of student support. Um, here at Western Oregon University, we have NCAA Division II athletics. We offer six women's sports as well as five men's sports. Uh, we do prov provide partial athletic scholarships, and if you're interested, let us know and we can point you in the right direction. Uh, along with that, uh, along with our sports, we have over 60 clubs and organizations on our campus for students to learn leadership skills and pursue their passions. Uh, we students are involved in many organizations, including social action clubs, LGBTQ groups, cultural based organizations, creative arts groups, and so much more. From that, we at Western Oregon strive to offer many services in which students can reach academic success, right? It's a theme. Need help with classwork, academic advice, or looking for career advice, then we have you covered. Our academic advisors are equipped um, to help advise students in exploring different options, uh, majors, uh, choosing the best fit for them. We provide free academic tutoring within many areas, including computer science, math, science, writing, and so much more. For those students who seek career advice apart from their faculty or academic advisor, um, you can find assistance through their service learning and career development center. Um, besides, you know, career counseling, resume and cover letter reviews, um, help with graduate school applications. We are support programs that give students hands-on experience like those of community internship programs, on-campus jobs, and alternative break programs. In a nutshell, here at Western Oregon, we pride ourselves in being inclusive, accessible, affordable, committed to student success and their well-being. Because we're a small university, many students will have the opportunity to participate in many different aspects of campus. We make it our mission to help students feel comfortable, whether they're commuting to school, living on campus, or from out of state. Our students are encouraged to be their own individual while also helping the campus community as a whole, committed to their academics and their personal health. As you can see, here's my contact information in case you would like to contact me afterwards to talk about how Wu can help you with your journey to higher education. Thank you. Great, and thank you so much. Um, just as a reminder to, to those joining, please feel free to send in questions via the Q&A function in Zoom and make sure you address those specifically to the institution which you're wanting to hear from. Uh, so moving right along, we're gonna hear from our second institution now, and that's going to be Willamette University. Hi everyone, um, I'm going to share my screen. So thanks so much for joining us tonight. Um, my name is Leah Boynton. I'm an assistant director of admission at Willamette and I'm just really excited to spend some time with you this evening to talk about our institution. I'd like to take just the next six minutes um, to tell you a little bit about Willamette and introduce you to some of the things that make us unique. I'm hoping that after this little bit of time, you may be interested to engage with us more in a virtual tour or some of our other programming options um, within our office. Willamette is located in Salem, Oregon, which is the state capital of the state of Oregon. We are a liberal arts college supported by graduate programs in business, law, and theology. And we're located in a part of the world that is sought after for its natural beauty. Um, we also have a wide variety of diverse ecosystems here in the Pacific Northwest, um, lots of outdoor op opportunities, and of course, many places to explore. Willamette is a very historic place as well. Um, we are the oldest institution in the West, so we were here long before Oregon, Washington, and California were even states. Willamette began to educate and shape innovators from the very beginning, including our very first graduate, who was a woman, Emily York. As things like business, government, 
uh, education, medicine, and social systems were being established, Willamette was at the forefront of creating an education that prepared people to be leaders and innovators in this process. I mentioned our history because it's important to understand Willamette and our rich heritage to understand what the current student experience is today. Willamette's legacy of leadership and impact um, in the community is exactly what current Willamette students find here in their experience. We are a place that takes knowledge and turns it straight into action. Our predecessors gave us this motto that informs the current Willamette experience. The motto is not unto ourselves alone are we born or no nobus sulam natum mati. <laughs> um, our motto sums up what those early alumni knew from their time at Willamette, we are in a world together and our education should prepare us to be a part of that community. We talk about our motto a lot and continuously challenge ourselves to live it in new and varied ways. Willamette does an exceptional job of providing students with multiple occasions and opportunities to do so, both in and out of the classroom. Um, this positive change being, can be made through leadership, service, and many other opportunities um, in co-curricular involvement. In the classroom, Willamette students meet in small groups where highly engaged faculty lead primarily discussion-based courses in these small groups, um, which prepare them with important skills that will see them through their lives and careers, skills like critical thinking, creative problem solving, and the ability to consider varied perspectives. Our faculty are accomplished academics. They research, write, and publish extensively, but first and foremost, they are teachers. Willamette faculty serve as mentors to help our students really learn to uh, about themselves and personal growth um, and so that they can change the world around them. And so it's no wonder that Willamette has more Oregon Professors of the Year than any other college in, in the state by quite a margin. We have 11. We feel strongly that the incredible classroom environment at Willamette is critically supported by experiential learning activities as well. Things like study abroad, um, hands-on research, and internships are interactive out of the classroom experiences that all Willamette students participate in. Our unique location really contributes significantly to our ability to provide these opportunities. So let me tell you a little bit more about our place in the world. So we are an urban campus set in the center of Salem's quaint downtown corridor, and we are the only campus in the nation that sits directly across the street, 76 feet to be exact, across from the state capitol building. You can imagine the internship and research opportunities that are bound for our students in everything from politics to economics, psychology, data science, simply because of our proximity to the state capital. Our unique location is also across from Salem Health Hospital, one of Oregon's largest hospitals, which is directly adjacent to campus. Our thriving pre-medical program is well supported by that proximity to that medical resource. Willamette also owns a 305 acre area of land called Xena, which is a learning laboratory for some of our students interested in environmental science or biology to conduct research. And finally, Willamette is co-located with Tokyo International University of America, which is a satellite campus here at Willamette, which has 100 students come over from Tokyo every year. They participate in every facet of campus life, including living in the residence halls and participating in some of our clubs and organizations. So for students interested in Tokyo, they can expect to have that opportunity to go across the country and, or across the world and do so. Um, but we also have 66 other study abroad programs for students who may be interested in going elsewhere. As you can see, Willamette is physically located in such a way that we are literally surrounded by opportunities for our students to extend their learning well beyond our campus. Of course, there's so much more to say and my six minutes are nearly up, but I just want to mention that Willamette uses the common application and we review applicants holistically. Um, so every piece of your application matters. We've been fully test optional for several years now um, and we continue, will continue to do so. And we never charge an application fee because we don't want a fee to be a barrier to anyone seeking admission to Willamette. And every applicant is considered for merit aid is in addition to other financial aid opportunities as well. Willamette encourages applicants from bright, diverse, prepared uh, backgrounds, um, students who are excited to make a difference, um, excited to make an impact and challenge themselves with ideas they have never encountered before. If you want to be a part of a community that has a ton of exciting traditions, as well as a lot of history, um, 
be a part of a group of innovative leaders. I hope you'll take some time to learn a little bit more about us. Um, we have a bunch of different visual, virtual visit opportunities to take advantage of. So please uh, take a look at our website and join us for um, a virtual visit at some point. Um, here's my contact information. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions you may have about Willamette. And thank you again for your time this evening. Great, and thank you so much to Willamette University. And we are starting to have some questions come in, which is very exciting. Please continue um, to use that feature um, and address those to the specific institution or institutions you're wanting to hear from. Moving right along, we are now going to hear from Oregon State University Cascades. Perfect, let me go ahead and share my screen. All righty, here we go. Perfect. If I have any technical issues, please just feel free to let me know. Um, hi, my name is Katie Wardsworth and I am an admissions advisor here at Oregon State University Cascades. Now, OSU Cascades is located in Central Oregon. We have roughly 1,400 students, uh, which is about 18 students per class, and we were built in 2016. So again, this is just a great university where students really feel like they're connected within the community and the faculty actually know who you are. You're not just a number here. Now, if you've never been to Bend, you'll have to stop by because we're located about 160 miles from Portland or about 130 miles from Corvallis. So about two and a half hours from the I-5. And we have the most amazing natural scenery around. We are located um, right next to uh, Mount Bachelor, which is about 23 minutes from campus. We have roughly, we're around you know, three minutes from the Deschutes River. So you'll see students all the time paddle boarding, um, heading to chemistry class and then and then loading up their, their skis in the back. Um, again, it's just an amazing town where um, you're located towards just wonderful, wonderful trails, um, un unbelievable um, rock climbing, and again, just some amazing skiing. So this is our campus. Um, again, we were built in 2016 and we have over 128 acres to grow. So we're building new buildings and, and just bringing this life, um, just so much energy to our campus. So let's do this. Let's go for a little campus tour. So right here, you'll actually see our residence hall. On the right-hand side, you'll see um, this grayer side is a kind of our, our apartment style um, living situations for mostly our transfer students. On the left-hand side, you'll see um, some, oh, there we go, <laughs> some uh, uh, dorms that are, have um, both singles, both doubles, both triples, um, uh, roommates per, per room. Um, and again, these, uh, our campus was built in 2016, so everything you see is, is brand new. Um, there are private bathrooms located in, in every single room. Um, and again, there's just such great common areas. Uh, there's kitchens located on every single floor. There's wonderful um, laundry facilities that are brand new that are accessible to all students. Um, again, it's just a really fun area. There's a fitness center located on the first floor. Um, and of course, my favorite is our gear storage um, section where students can actually put their, their skis, their their sleds, their scooters, their whatever they can't fit necessarily in their dorm room, uh, actually located in a safe area um, in the residence hall. So again, this is where our student hall, our student life is actually located. Now we have different different groups that you can actually become involved with, whether that's the rock climbing or our skiing clubs. Um, maybe you want to learn how to uh, network and become more more familiar with the people that are in your major. Um, so by joining maybe like our psych club or our tech club, there's just unbelievable ways to network and get to know different people and make new friends. So let's take a look at my favorite building. This is Obsidian Hall. And Obsidian Hall actually looks kind of like a ski lodge. Um, you will see there is snow. But we do have over 300 days of sunshine per year in Central Oregon. Um, and again, Obsidian Hall is just an unbelievable place. Um, it has an amazing coffee shop. This is where our dining hall is located and just such great places to study, to hang out, to meet new people. Moving along to Tykeson Hall. This is actually where, um, it's kind of your one-stop shop for everything you need. Um, this is where you can find your admissions advisor. You can find your academic advisor. Um, you can actually meet with your professor um, during their office hours in this building. We have both a chemistry lab and both a bio lab, as well as our disability resource center and an amazing library. So since Oregon State University Cascades is powered by OSU, we offer 21 different majors and over 30 different minors. And those range from topics in majors like psychology and, and computer science and energy systems engineering. Um, again, whether it's a hard science or maybe the liberal arts, um, you have the option and the opportunity to study here. 
Now, again, since we're a smaller university, we have the opportunity to allow our students to have an internship, a study abroad, a research role, a leadership um, capstone event. Uh, again, we just wanna make sure that you feel like you're ready to go out to the workforce, to start building your network, to start building your brand, uh, and to feel like you know what you're doing, to feel that confidence before you leave college. And again, you should feel confident because you're being taught by some of the world's greatest faculty, um, whether you're being taught by, you know, our three time Fulbright scholars or by uh, Badman Avazi, whose whose mission in life is to to take salt water and to turn it into clean drinking water. Um, and he's promoting this research at Oregon State Cascades. So, again, it's just an unbelievable opportunity. We know you're going to change the world um, and we want to help make those ideas, all the, those ideas that you have come to life. So. Again, we have so many great opportunities. We know college is kind of overwhelming. This process can be a little, a little stressful. So we'd love to talk and love to, to connect with you and make sure that you feel like you're being heard and that you have the opportunity to really understand what you're getting yourself into because you have such a bright future and we know, we know that you're full of such great ideas. So we just want to be our support service for you and help you make the best decision. So here's my contact information. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Great, and thank you so much to Oregon State University Cascades for joining us. Um, and again, those of you joining, um, please feel free to send in any questions that you have for any of our um, colleges and universities this evening. Up next, we are now going to hear from Portland State University. Good evening, everyone. My name is Crystal Tensi, and I'm an admissions counselor with Portland State University. Um, PSU is located right in the heart of downtown Portland. We're on 50 acres. We're really um, integrated with the city. So one minute you're standing on PSU property and then you cross the street and you're in the city of Portland and you cross the street again and you're back on PSU campus. So it's a really unique layout on a major transportation line. Um, and I love to show this slide because you could see a beautiful aerial view of our central part of our campus, as well as the uh, rooftop seating areas that we have. We are the second largest university in the state with just over 26,000 students. We have a very diverse student population here. So diverse in terms of ethnic background, um, in terms of student age. We have quite a few first generation college students, meaning they're the first in their family to get an education. And we have about 6% of our students um, are coming from 89 different countries. Um, and here's another photo of our Carl Miller Center, which is where our School of Business is housed. One of the cool things about being in the city is that a lot of our buildings are uh, mixed use buildings. So the bottom floor will be donut shops, coffee shops, sandwich shops, um, and then your classes will be in the building up above. Um, we, as I mentioned, we're on 50 acres, but by and large, most things are pretty close in. So um, it's very easy to walk around campus and um, also get to campus from anywhere in the city or even in the suburbs since we are right downtown. We have 10 different residence halls. Um, it is not required to live on campus your freshman year as some colleges require, but it's highly recommended. Uh, most of our um, dorms are apartment style, so they have their own bathroom and kitchenette. Um, and it's, I think, a really nice way to feel connected with the campus community um, and just get additional support by, by living on campus. Um, we also have 11 different cultural and resource centers. These include things like our Women's Resource Center, our Queer Resource Center, our Disability Resource Center, and many of our tutoring centers to support students from um, all backgrounds and walks of life. And just like any large university, we have quite a few clubs here. Um, these are anything from athletic clubs to uh, religious and spiritual clubs and Greek life as well. And we are a division one school. So we have 15 different teams that compete in the Big Sky Conference. Um, and one great aspect of being in a city like Portland is that we um, have formal partnerships and networking opportunities with quite a few businesses and organizations. These are our top employers of our PSU grads. So if you stay in Portland um, and you wanna work for one of these companies, many of our students go on to work for these companies. Um, 
Being in the city means lots of opportunities for internships. All of our students complete a senior um, capstone project, which is a community-based project where you get to really take what you're learning in the class into the real world and get that experience. Um, we have over 207 majors, minors, and certificates to choose from here. Um, and despite being a large university, we still have a pretty reasonable student to faculty ratio, which is 20 to 1, with our average freshman class size being 28. And we have quite a few study abroad programs as well, if that's something you're interested in. I know it's been a little challenging lately with COVID and travel restrictions, but hopefully um, things are looking up for opportunities. And then this is a list of our schools and colleges here. So depending on what you study at PSU, will determine what school you're part of here. Our uh, requirements for freshman admissions is 2.5 cumulative unweighted high school GPA with a C minus or better in those core curriculum classes. Um, only Oregon residents are required to do a second language, so you uh, you don't need to have that um, if you're coming from Nevada or California. And of course, SAT and ACT is completely optional, not required at all. Um, and uh, we are waiving our application fee as well through June 15th. So if you apply now, um, you won't have to pay that fee. We're also waiving our deposit uh, for students who are starting up this year. Uh, this is our cost of attendance. Um, we like to break it down just so that you have an understanding of the full um, cost of, of school, not just tuition and, and fees. Um, and these are the differences between if you're eligible for our Western Undergraduate Exchange Program um, versus uh, just the typical non-resident cost here. Um, which I'll talk about in a moment. So our Western Undergraduate Exchange is for students who have a 3.0 GPA or higher um, and enroll full time in a fall term. You have to apply by June 15th and submit final transcripts by August 1st. If for whatever reason you're not eligible for WUI, we do offer an out-of-state opportunity scholarship for students. Not quite as great as WUI, but um, it does help offset the cost of out-of-state tuition. We also um, have our scholarships as well. Our application for scholarships is due every year on February 1st. Um, and of course, you'll wanna fill out the FAFSA if you're eligible to see what you're um, eligible for in terms of federal aid. Um, and then we offer payment plans and, um, as well. And we have tons of student employment opportunities if you're wanting to work on campus and just uh, make a little bit of extra money or um, just get some experience. We have around 2000 students employed on campus. This is my contact information. I'm also gonna drop a contact card in the chats so you can fill that out um, and receive more information from us. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much to Portland State University for joining us this evening. Um, just as a heads up, we are down to two more universities to hear from. So make sure that you get your questions sent in so that our representatives can answer those for you. Up next, we are now going to hear from Pacific University. Perfect. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome from Northwest Oregon. Uh, you're hearing a lot about our amazing state up here from a lot of different schools, and Pacific is no different. We get to have another little part of the state that's all our own. And I'm Derek. I'm your admissions counselor here at Pacific, so you get a great opportunity to work with uh, not only a specific person here, but to be able to learn more about Pacific University, Oregon. And as I mentioned, we are up here in the northwest corner. We're in a small city called Forest Grove, but we are part of the Portland metro. So it's kind of the best of both worlds where 30 minutes in one direction and you're in downtown. We're still part of that mass transportation max line that you've heard talked about, but we also get that best of the outdoors as well. Less than 10 minutes off campus, you can be hiking in the Tillamook National Forest. An hour from campus, you're sitting on the beautiful Oregon coast, but we're still within driving distance and being close to all those amazing things that come along with the city, like having companies like Nike, Intel, Xerox, Columbia, right near campus for our students to be able to connect with and be able to get those opportunities as a student to connect with those as well. And at Pacific, we are um, set up to be a small private liberal arts university. And what we wanna do for our students is to put everybody into the same opportunities. And what that means here is there's not a separate honors college application. There's not a separate out of state application. This is all for all of our students. And at Pacific, we have about 1900 undergraduate students and about 2000 graduate students. 
And at Pacific, they are offered over four, uh, 65 different majors, minors, and programs. We're best known for things like the health professions, pre-physical therapy, pre-med, pre-optometry, but we also have nationally ranked creative writing programs, business, education, and psychology programs. So you're gonna find that full plethora of different programs here at Pacific, and you can find what you want. Whether you come in knowing exactly that path you wanna take and become an optometrist, or you go, I have absolutely no idea. You can use that opportunity as a liberal arts school to take a little bit and still get a guaranteed four-year education. Because here at Pacific, I mentioned earlier, we don't want to have separate different setups. It's for all of our students to be able to come in and get small classes, interaction with professors, interaction with their major, and to be able to come in and out of Pacific in four years or less. So we don't have any impacted classes. Our guarantee to our students is that four-year education. No fifth years, six years, or victory laps but that you can actually come in, get that education in an average class size of only 19 students. In fact, our largest lecture hall only seats 60 students. So you're gonna know your professors, they're gonna call on you. You can't hide in the back row of our classrooms. And at Pacific, 100% of the classes are taught by professors. Even though we have those amazing graduate programs that lead to really amazing paths for our students, those graduate students do not teach. We want you learning from a professor who's in the classroom with you answering those questions. But the other side of that, is we don't want you leaving Pacific with a good luck handshake and a diploma. We want that, but we also want you to add into that real life experience that builds a resume so that our students in those four years can then take the next step and go to graduate school or get a job right away. And what that means here is starting those job shadowing internships and research freshman and sophomore year of college, not waiting till you're a junior or senior, so that you have years to build up that experience, so that you have time to change your mind and still be on track to graduate. And what it does is exactly what I was talking about. Whereas a top private research university in the Northwest, our students are able to go out to places like Nike, Xerox, Intel, Columbia, do research in the classroom, work with students, write their own books. And when they walk out, they have things to talk about in their interviews. So you can see by our numbers that our students are being placed into graduate programs and next steps at very, very high rates. And we want that for all of our students across the board. And at the same time, we highly encourage our students to be active. Whether that's joining some of our 70 different clubs and organizations for every different identity, background, idea, plan, or thing that you love to do, you will find them here at Pacific. And you don't have to pick and choose. You can join some of our different musical groups, dance groups, or theater groups without majoring in those programs because you just love what you're doing. Or joining some of our 24 varsity, 28 intramural, and 10 club sports on campus, you're going to find your group on campus to be able to build and to be able to add to your education while you're here. And as an NCAA Division III athletics teams, you'll be able to get that opportunity to be a student athlete where you get to graduate in four years and still be able to play on an NCAA team. And more importantly, we want you to not just sit in the classroom. You've heard over and over again how amazing Oregon is, how amazing that state is. We want you to be able to experience that, whether that's through our outdoor pursuits office, taking trips into the Pacific Northwest as a student, maybe joining in and getting an outdoor leadership minor, studying abroad in over 27 sites in countries around the world, or taking a two to three week winter term class where you're studying abroad for a shorter amount of time or giving back to your community, whether that's here in Forest Grove, whether that's going larger or whether that's going international as well, being able to give back is a really big part of our students' lives here at Pacific. And in fact, we were very proud of it. And that's part of our graduation requirements is to be part of a community service project while you're here at Pacific. And again, this is open to all of our students, not select groups, but to all the different groups. Because at Pacific, you heard me mention earlier, we have no in-state or out-of-state application and no in-state or out-of-state scholarships or tuition. Everybody's coming in at the same rates. And what that means here is when you apply, you're using the common application to apply online. And whether you're a senior this year looking at a school for the fall or you're a junior looking for next year, know that we use that common application and roll our admission, which means we are looking for applications throughout the cycle and awarding merit scholarship. So if you're a senior looking for a school next year, you can still apply for scholarship here at Pacific University. And to apply for that, all you need to do is apply to Pacific through the common app. You might earn one of our academic merit scholarships based on your academic profile, anywhere from 15 to $27,000 a year for all four years guaranteed, which means a 60 to $108,000 scholarship. Maybe that means coming to one of our senior preview scholarship days and getting a virtual tour of campus, meeting professors and students and earning scholarship that way, or applying for a music, dance, or theater scholarship and earning scholarship for those things that you love to do in high school on top of everything else while you're here. So as I mentioned, I am one of your admissions counselors here at Pacific University, and I'm very glad to talk to you about all the different opportunities we have to offer. 
please feel free to reach out and I will put my contact information into the chat box as well. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them into the Q&A for us. We're glad to answer those. And I look forward to helping you learn more about becoming a boxer. Great, and thank you so much to Pacific University. Um, moving on to our final presenter, last and certainly not least, we're now going to hear from Oregon State University. Awesome, thanks so much, James. And thanks for being here tonight, everyone. I'm really excited to share more information with you about Oregon State University at our main campus in Corvallis, Oregon. My name is Delta, my pronouns are they, them, and I will be uh, showing you around a little bit tonight. So OSU is the type of institution that is out there. As the premier research university in the state of Oregon, we believe that our undergraduate students should be out there at the forefront of academic discovery with our professors and staff, right? So whether you are at either of our campuses and any of our majors, you will be highly encouraged, if not required, to do that really important hands-on experiential learning outside of the classroom. Um, the background of this slide is actually a really great example. This is a student working on our coastal campus called the Hatfield Marine Science Center, um, literally getting their hands dirty with their academics. Um, we do have 12 uh, total experiment stations across the state of Oregon, including 15,000 acres of research forests, our Food Innovation Center in Portland, Oregon, our Seafood Lab in Astoria. Um, so we really are all over, um, including on all seven continents under the one umbrella of Beaver Nation. Um, like I said, uh, I am an advisor for our Corvallis campus, which is our main campus. Um, we are located about 90 minutes south of Portland in this beautiful college town. It is important to note that this is a traditional college town. So the majority of folks in Corvallis are going to be students, faculty, or staff. Uh, you'll find orange and black in storefronts. People will say, go beeves to you on a games day. And essentially it's a really great environment to kind of spend your undergraduate years. Um, as you can see here, we have been named one of the friendliest and most beautiful college towns in the nation. Uh, and there's a lot to do with our student life as well. Uh, so we do have over 400 clubs and organizations, things across the board from personal interest clubs to academic organizations. Um, some of my favorite include our Bird Nerds Club where students are really excited about birds and go out um, and enjoy that um, activity together, uh, as well as our Leadership Academy for our engineering students where we will take students to engineering firms to help you understand what your next steps in that field might be like. Um, the majority of uh, students get introduced to these clubs during our welcome week, which includes music ensemble performances, uh, you'll get in introduced to our Greek life, um, and you may be going on an outdoor adventure with our Adventure Leadership Institute. So there really is a lot going on for students to get involved in outside the classroom. Um, one of my favorite things about OSU for sure are our seven cultural resource centers. These are seven distinct spaces for students to come together to celebrate um, an identity with their community. Um, so some examples include our Pride Center, our Women's Center, our Black Research Center, our Ina House Native Student Center, uh, et cetera, et cetera, right? So we really do believe in celebrating the whole student at OSU um, and that definitely kind of spills over into the rest of Corvallis as well. Um, academically, we have a lot going on also. Uh, we have over 200 academic programs with zero of them being impacted, um, which means that there are no space capacity issues for incoming first year students, uh, as well as no additional admissions requirements for any of these programs. Um, on the right hand side, you'll see the general areas of study that we offer at OSU. Um, and if you're still kind of considering a few different majors, I would definitely consider exploring our university exploratory studies program. Um, so this is kind of like undeclared plus. It allows students to have additional advising and a year and a half at OSU before you have to select your graduating major. Um, we really do believe in exploration for academics for students. So definitely consider that if um, that appeals to you. We also have an honors college at OSU. So this is um, an opportunity that provides a smaller tight knit academic community within the larger context of OSU as a research university. Um, students in honors college will be getting their own honors uh, graduation degree, as well as completing a senior thesis capstone project before they graduate. Some of our popular programs include pre-professional studies. Um, so we do have a number of pre-med students with a 60 to 70% admit rate to med school. So great success for those students. Um, we also have a very popular program in pre-vet where our students are able to kind of get a preview of what that next step looks like with the Carlson College of Veterinary Medicine, which is the graduate level right on our campus. Um, 
as you can see, we have a lot of science programs. Um, one of the most popular colleges for us includes College of Engineering, where we have 15 accredited majors and about one third of our undergraduate students. Um, and then last but not least for popular programs, the College of Business is right up there. Um, they offer a full year immersive program in the first year of your uh, business programs where you will be creating or supporting a real world entrepreneurship initiative. Um, so you're really gonna be uh, afforded opportunities to get out there across these programs. Um, when it comes to prop programs we have, we are number two for forestry in the world, number three for oceanography. So if any of those appeals to you, OSU might be a good fit. And then when it comes to admissions, if you're looking to be a B, um, we do a holistic review for all students. That means that you're not just a GPA for us. We put a lot of weight into that essay and the other pieces of the application as well. Um, so just know that we're gonna review holistically as a student. Um, we have test optional admissions for not only uh, your admissions review, but also for your scholarship consideration. So you are not required to submit test scores to us. And if you're interested in honors uh, college, you are required to apply to them uh, directly. So just look out for that section within the application itself. Um, when it comes to scholarships and aid, uh, we are automatically reviewing all students from eligible WUI states for the WUI program or the Western Undergraduate Exchange. Um, it is highly competitive for us, so we are not able to award all students the WUI, but you will get automatically considered. Those who are awarded the scholarship are gonna receive an annual scholarship of around $15,000. Um, and we do offer additional scholarships as well. So once you're admitted, you'll definitely wanna to apply to additional scholarships through OSU Scholar Dollars and by submitting need-based information um, through our financial aid office. If you're looking to apply, November 1st is our early action deadline and you're more than welcome to find out more through our admission site on the page. So that's all for me today. If you have any questions, let me know for sure. Here's my contact and I'll leave you with a hearty go Beavs. Have a good night, everyone. Great, thank you so much um, to Oregon State University and to all of our presenters this evening. Um, so we are just about out of time for our session. So what I wanna do is just um, leave you all with just a couple of housekeeping um, tips and things like that um, as this fair wraps up. Uh, first of all, whenever you exit out of this um, webinar, you will have access to a really brief four question survey. And it just lets us know how we did this evening um, organizing this fair and getting you the information that you needed. So this really helps us as we plan future events. Um, there are additional sessions happening through the Western Association of College Admissions Counseling, not tonight, but on future dates. Um, there are dates coming up in both March and April, so please sign up for those as we would love to have you join us. And then finally, within about a week, we will have all of these recordings available on strivescan.com slash WACAC, W-A-C-A-C. So um, thank you again to all of our colleges and universities for joining us. This has been very valuable and and thank you to students, family members, friends, advocates for um, joining us as well. Um, we hope that you got your questions answered and you have um, some, some contact information if you need to follow up with these individuals also. So thank you, everybody stay safe and have a great evening.